Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. We're back on the new Chatter mainline route by Dovetail Games. Was a big thanks uh, for Dovetail for giving us a key to show it off. Uh, although technically we're not actually on the Chatter mainline at the moment. We're actually on the Sheerness branch, probably is the title of the video um, or similar. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to be heading down to Rainham. There's one thing I did notice, because I did want to do uh, Sheerness on C to Sittingbourne, but for some reason it didn't let me. So yeah, we'll go down to Rainham, which is about 12 miles. That was like the nearest place I could actually go to. But yeah, we're in the 465, the one included with the new Chatter Mainline. Boom. Uh, and let's get this uh, all set up. So let's get the doors open here. Which I believe this model has been imported. I think they did say they imported this from TSW, I think. Um, which, yeah, it does look very similar. Uh, anyway, let's um, get the master key to that. Set that to forward. And you've got the AWS, which is here. Uh, headlights, they're already on day. That's all good. Yeah, cool, we're all good. Uh, wait for the doors to shut, and then we'll be off. Which are already sharp so let's get going next station stop I think on this route is Queensborough yeah off we go yeah because I think the old Sheerness branch on here because I think they have sort of well bumped it up a little bit made it look slightly better because yeah, like the old one was from the southeastern high speed route, which is I think came out in 2012, 2013. So it was a pretty old. Well, it was actually I think it was a DLC for the southeastern high speed route. So it was a pretty old DLC. So it's good to sort of have a remastered Sheerness branch, which will be looking slightly more up to uh, modern TS standards. Cool. Out we go, Sheerness on C. And they've got the massive scrapyard here for the car. Look at this. Tons of cars. There's the passenger view. Up to 30, up to 60. Let's put that. What time are we doing to Rainham? We're doing at Rainham at 40 past. Well, I think we can probably get there beforehand. I don't think it will take that long. Probably will, but I think it'll be a little bit quicker. There you go. So I'd love if I did actually add the Sheerness branch onto Train Some World at some point. I think that could be another likely route extension. Maybe set it for a tenner or so. But yeah, it's not too far from. Uh, if we look at the map, it's. Um, yeah, just here. Then you've got sitting born here, so it's not much further off. It would be awesome to see it in Train Sim World. Maybe as like the first route extension or something. Now I think in the old version that line actually did continue on, I think. But yeah, it's a bit more modern. But look at all the cars there. Cool, and up to 60. Well, let's get going. Well, I don't think it's too far to Queensborough. I think it's Queensborough. Yeah, you can see it coming onto the distance graph now. Yeah, this is the Isle of Sheppey. Yeah, if it did come to TSW, we'd probably spend a few hours just shuttling backwards and forth between the two places. Which would be fun. Right, let's uh, bring that down to 35. Yeah, it does look, uh, it does look better. Yeah, you can pick up the Chatham Main Line for twenty four ninety nine. Although if you're watching this before Christmas Eve, so the twenty fourth of December, 
I believe it is 22.49 as part of the sort of first week discount of 10% off. But definitely worth it. Obviously, yeah, London Blackfriars and Victoria, all of the way to Ramsgate and Dover Priory, with the Sheerness branch included, and a bit down to Orpington as well. Which, yeah, over 130 miles worth of track, and I think 69 stations. I mean, you can't go wrong with that amount. Right, this is Queensborough. Well, I think this is Queensborough. Yes, I believe it is. To the end of the platform. But yeah, it looks a bit more modern. Oh, my urgency. The brakes don't seem too good. Always end up doing that. There's the route map, southeastern. But yeah, it must be modern because you've got the new PIS. So they have sort of revamped it. Cool. Right, well, let's get going. I think next it's swell. Yeah, I think it's swell next. Whacking that up. But yeah, a little bit weird the way it didn't let me pick Sittingbourne as our final destination. It does look very good, the model, though. Yeah, I think they did import this one from TSW, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the detail on the model there is, uh, well, very much different to uh, other models on other trains. I mean, there's still the detail of the dirt and weathering. Yeah, it must be the TSW model. It's lovely. Right, let's get that up to 75. Not for long, though. There's a weird little but nice line, the Sheppey. Oh, the Sheppey branch or the Sheerness branch. Speed, then. It's uh, 75. It's nice, though. Nice little line. I don't know, I think it's, I don't know, seven miles or so. Something like that. Right, probably had AWS, didn't we? What the bets were coming to an emergency stop? Okay, luckily we're not. I'm coming up on the bridge now. So we've come down to 30. Coming down. Then we turn and go over the bridge. I think it's the old road bridge onto the Isle of Sheppey. I think the one we're going under, we're about to go under, is the the new one. I mean, is it a busy place, the Isle of Sheppey? So when I think about it, I just think it's a little small place with sort of one town, not a lot going on. Is there really much need for a massive? motorway bridge going into it. Yeah, there's the original bridge. So we share it with the road, it's quite cool. Up on we go. And you've got Swell uh, adjacent on the other side. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is a swing bridge. The way it has got the... Um, yeah, it's got gates as well. The way it's got the um, lights on it. 
Right, maybe it actually goes up, maybe. Not sure. Someone let me know in the comments. Is it a swing bridge or... No, it won't be a swing bridge. It looks like it goes up, though. I'm a bit used to. I don't know. Yeah, the other bridge is much higher up. Oh, God, we're past the marker. Oh, well. We were looking at bridge. We were looking at the bridge. This is swell. It's... Well, there's not really anything here. I think it is, like, the least used station in Kent as well. I think. Yeah, not not a lot going on, so no surprise it is the least used. Yeah, it's a swell and I think it's Kemsley next. We're now back on the UK mainland. And you probably can see the train rolling forward very slowly. That's actually, um, it does that on TS to stop it crashing. I don't know why, um, but yeah. It's one of those little things about TS. Right, let's get a screenshot there. Let's go. Let's get in here and watch it going off. Got well, 75 coming up. Let's double track all of the way, I think. And thanks to whoever subscribed or became a member. Thanks. Yeah, I've always got the uh, notifications on on the videos as well. With the alerts. How far to rain them now then? Eight miles still. Still a fair distance. Cool. it goes. Not far to Kemsley. I think Kemsley is part of Sittingbourne. Or north of uh, Sittingbourne. I suppose it must be, be one train going backwards and forth along here between Sittingbourne and uh, um, and Sheerness. And I can't imagine it will be a uh, very busy line. Maybe I think there's actually a train in the morning that goes from Sheerness on sea to Victoria, and then one in the evening which does vice versa. But yeah, I can't imagine it's a very busy line. Yeah, coming up to Kemsley. You can see the speed limit comes down to 20. That's where you've got Kemsley Triangle. Are well, we join up with the uh, main line again? Looks like there was the old station here or something. Look at that. Look at the really high up platform. Oh, no, I reckon that's probably just a wall, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, probably just a wall. I doubt that was a platform. Yeah, probably not. There it is, there is Kemsley. Quite a small little station. There's a yellow. Yeah, not a lot going on. Well, there's a bit more here. There's, I guess this, yeah, this is Sittingbourne here. The so sort of the outskirts of Sittingbourne, the station. A little past the marker, but oh well. Here we are, Kimsley. Have to check if we're going via Newington. It might put us onto the slow line, which it 
most likely probably will. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is going to be putting us onto the slow line. Yeah, it is. So we'll stop at Newington as well. May as well. Whilst we're at it. Six miles. Get the window open as well. Let's get that one down as well. Down you go. There. Let's whack that straight up. This is like the only route where I've seen it sort of tells you about the whistle boards. It has the little sort of horn symbols. It's the only route I've seen with them. And then also the original chatter main I had it as well. Which I reckon this route will be a base route for Train Simulator 2023. Maybe that's why it has that. So sort of, you know, if you are new to 2023, Train Sim 2023. No, 20. Yeah, it will be 2023. Maybe that's why they have it. Because I think the original Chatham Mainland was a base route as well. I think. For Train Sim 2017. Possibly. Yeah, if you're enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe if you do want to see more. We do plenty of train simulator. And we do the, su the successor to this game, Train Simulator. We do that every single day. Yeah, I just thought we'd uh, try out the Sheerness branch. And obviously a little bit more. That takes you around to Sittingbourne, where I would have wanted to end it, but didn't let me. It's weird, because this bit we're coming on to now, I was driving on TSW today. It's going to be weird to see it in this as well. up a little bit so it's 90 then it comes down to 70 then it will be down to I believe 40 coming into Newington there you go there's a 70 and the 90 but yeah we'll stop at Newington let's go so now back on to the, well I suppose the sister Chatham main line. This bit along here. So I think the Chatham main line runs between Dover and London Victoria. I think because Chatham's sort of in the middle. AWS warning for the warning board. Cool. Or maybe we are. No, I think we are going onto the fast line. Yeah, 75, so we must be. That's good then. It looked like from the map we were going onto the uh, fast line. But it seems not. Passengers, we are not stopping at Newington. We are now skipping Newington. <laughs> Change up radio if you want to go back. There's only one passenger view, there's no other seats you can sit on. Round we go. Yeah, it's weird because on Trains and World, it's, um, you've got the trees like. Well, the whole of this bit is covered with trees. On well, here, it seems to be sort of quite well openish. 
Actually, so here's the tree bit. <laughs> yeah, there are slight differences, but I suppose this one is less, well, slightly less detailed than um, TSW. But still, very much detailed. Here's Newington. Let's get the cutter. The cursor right in the way. There we go. We're up to 75. Let's get a flyby shot, although not just yet, because otherwise there's a 375. Let's go ahead now. I think the next one's yellow. Is it yellow? Green. Cool. There we go. Get back in. No, it'll probably be the one after this, which is a double yellow, actually. Lovely. Yes, yeah, so this one will probably be a adverse signal. So I should get AWS going off fairly shortly. Double yellow. Go. And we're coming into Rainham. There'd be another train in the uh, bay platform or the terminating platform here. Cool. That's for way to be stopping here on TS. And yeah, literally less than an hour ago, I was stopping here on uh, TSW. Here you got a three seven five. In the platform, but the brakes are not great on here. Not great at all. Well, here we are. This is Rainham. Well, that is going to be everyone for today's train simulator video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. You will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show off the new chat and mainline. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys. <music>